just want to say thank you, thank you for bringing me to the doctor's office today. I appreciate it. Hello, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Hi, Howard. I'm Howard. I'm 93. And it's good to be at the doctor's office. I feel like I'm a hostage, though. Am I a hostage? No. It's this wall. It makes me feel like a Am I in a cave somewhere? <laughs> no, you're fine. You're lucky I'm here. This morning I woke up, my ear was ringing, and I'm deaf in this year, and this ear was ringing, and then my, my left arm was numb, and I couldn't even hold a cup of coffee, and my right foot, the gout in it, oh, oh, the gout was killing me, my, and, and my cataract was all cloudy. I had to smoke some weed to clear that up, yeah. You're lucky I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, you want some? No, that's okay. The oxygen is all yours. Yeah. That's good stuff right there, boy. Yeah, sir. Tell them what you did for a living. I used to be a Chippendale dancer. Yeah, I was good at it, too. Yeah, then one day my chest fell down into my drawers. And I couldn't do it no more. Well, yeah, I was a door-to-door -door salesman. Really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I sold stuff door-to-door. -door. And one day I knocked on this lady's door, and she opened the door, and she saw I was a salesman, and she slammed the door in my face. That's not nice. No, it's not. No. And then the door bounced back open, and she thought I was messing with her, so she slammed the door again, and it bounced back open. And now she thinks I'm playing a game with her or something, and she gets really mad, and she slams the door as hard as she can, and, and it bounced back open. And I said, I said, lady, if you want to shut your door, you're going to have to move your kitty cat. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I see you're wearing a medal. Yes, I was an Olympian, 19 and 33 Olympics. Yes, your arms aren't long enough, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What did you get your medal for? Jumping women. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no. That says broad jump. Same thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, there's three things you never forget. That's right. Three things you never forget, no matter how old you get. Three things. First thing is your first grade teacher's name. You never forget your first grade teacher's name. You remember yours, huh? Uh, yeah, that'd be Miss uh, Lusoff. Yeah. Mine was Miss Smith, yeah. You never forget your first real kiss either. You remember your name. I mean the kiss that curled your toenails. Not your mama's kiss. You kiss your mama like this, you go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you remember your first real kiss? Yes, I do. What was his name? <laughs> no, it was a girl. You sure? You play with dolls, you know. <laughs> yes, I know. Her name was Robin. Really? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Well. What's the third thing you never forget? Third thing you never forget? Is your first colonoscopy. That's right. Your doctor sticks an air hose up your butt and blows you up like a party balloon, drives a golf cart through your colon. You don't forget it. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, I went to an old waffle house. I'm Howard. I'm 93. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to see the doctor. Yeah, because the doctor said I'm hung like a horse. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. He said you're healthy as a horse. How healthy could a 93-year-old horse be, huh? No. You're healthy as a horse. Yeah, right. You're jealous. Yeah. No, I went to the Waffle House this morning. You haven't been to the Waffle House? Oh, yes. The Waffle House is, this was new, a new one. Oh, brand spanking new, yeah, grand opening of the Waffle House, really. Yeah, the floors are sticky, the countertops are sticky, the toilet seats are sticky. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I got a credit card too.
from Waffle House. They have a Waffle House credit card? Yes, they do. And I got a new Waffle House credit card. It was sticky, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I found a talking frog on Wednesday. <laughs> you were just talking about Waffle House. My name's Howard. I'm 93. Yeah. <laughs> talking frog. Yeah. I was walking down to the creek and I heard... <laughs> Hey! And it was this frog, and it was talking to me. And the frog said that she was a beautiful princess, and an evil witch turned her into a frog. And if I kissed her, she would do anything I wanted her to do. Really? Anything. Really? She said, please, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Did you kiss her? No. Why not? At my age, it's great having a woman date me for once. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, do you know what smothered, covered, and chumped, and scattered means? Huh? Huh? No. No, you don't. No. That's the language of the Waffle House. Yeah. We're back, back on Waffle House? Yeah. My name's Howard. I'm 93. Yeah. Smothered, covered, scattered, and chunked? You thought that's what happened after you ate at Waffle House, huh? No. It's the language of Waffle House. They're all the same. Yeah. The Waffle Houses. Yeah. They're all the same, the same building at the same exit, with the same waitress missing her left front tooth. And then and, 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 and the, the, the menu tattooed on her arm? <laughs> really? Yeah. That's dedication there. That's a big arm. Oh my goodness. And then there's the waitress who has more metal in her face than it took to make your car. Yeah. She's a honey. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. So. Smothered, covered? Yeah. Scattered? Yeah. The, the, only the cook there knows what all that means. That's Waffle House talk. The cook at the Waffle House. Imagine him. Guy standing at the grill for $12 a day while eight women yell out orders at him. That'll make you suck on a gun barrel, won't it? Huh? Yeah. What age do you say? Eh, I want to drop out of school and be a Waffle House cook. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What? That is one ugly shirt, huh? That's one ugly shirt he's wearing, isn't it? That's the ugliest shirt I've ever seen. Isn't that ugly? That's ugly, ugly, ugly. Yeah. <laughs> double ugly. And double ugly shirt right there. All I can say is somebody somewhere is missing the curtain out of their Winnebago. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I, my name's Howard. I'm 93. Yes, I'm gonna go. It's time for my sponge bath. No, it's time to see the doctor. Is he gonna check all my orifices? I don't know about that and don't care. All right, gotta go. All right.